What's going on guys? In today's video, we're going to talk about the severe weather threat continuing to move through the south and then the snowy side of this that's going to lift into the Ohio River Valley and northeast Wednesday and Thursday. We're going to start with the wide view here and show you the high resolution future radar and then we're going to break down the expected snowfall totals region by region in just a couple of minutes. So stick around for that. Here we go at two o'clock in the morning on Wednesday, January 25th. Still a nasty line of thunderstorms slicing through the deep south, Alabama, Mississippi specifically. Look at all the heavy snow, eastern Oklahoma, Kansas, northwest Arkansas, into Missouri, into Illinois, Indiana. The darker the blue, the heavier the snow. I want to take you into commute time though. 5, 6 o'clock in the morning, we're stopping this at 6 a.m. eastern time. I want to show you a couple things here. Look closely. Nasty line of thunderstorms. These could be severe early Wednesday morning. Again, 6 a.m. Eastern, 5 a.m. Central. The darker the red, the more intense the thunderstorms will be. And that's really taking aim on the panhandle of Florida and then into eastern Alabama, into western Georgia. That heavy rain also extending back into east central Tennessee, also into western North Carolina. Now, again, the darker the blue, the heavier the snow. Look at this come commute time. St. Louis, Chicago, Indianapolis, Columbus, Pittsburgh area. Very heavy snow for the morning commute as we move into Wednesday the 25th. Now I'll take you till about lunchtime. Note the changes here. We'll get back into the northeast. We have now some pink showing up in and around Pittsburgh. We have some warmer air surging in, so that's going to change the snow quickly over to a mix and then eventually to rain. But on the colder side of the system, look at the heavy snow back towards Detroit, into Chicago, or into uh, Toledo, Ohio, still in Chicago, back to Indianapolis. That's where you have the colder air. Now, be on the lookout in the Carolinas as we move into the early afternoon. So this is now going to be around dinner time. We have those nasty, nasty thunderstorms right along the I-95 corridor. So be on the lookout for that. If you have plans to travel up and down I-95, it could be met with some very heavy rain first and foremost, but then also the potential for some severe weather. So now what I want to do is I want to show you the snow totals here where the snow is already wrapped up. And then we'll get back to the timeline for the Northeast. And then I'll show you those snow totals. So stick with me. First of all, give me a thumbs up if you are rooting for the snow. Just hit that thumbs up button there. I'm interested if you are rooting for the snow or not. And also post where you're watching from in the comments. We'll love to know. So taking this out into the future now, this is going to be here through Wednesday afternoon. And we're looking at the snow depth again. A lot of those... Snow maps you see on social media have been overinflated a little bit because they're using a straight up 10 to 1 ratio. It's still going to be warm in spots, so the, not the most ideal snow crystal growth, if you will. Still a lot of heavy snow. Look at this. South of St. Louis, we're talking 4 to 8 inches of snow. Right on through here. That's in parts of south central Missouri. Right on through where the heaviest snow is going to fall in around Carbondale. Southern Illinois, we're talking three to six inches of snow. And then really, I think a good three to six inches of snow going to fall right on in through central Indiana, Indianapolis. We are going to be included in that. I do think north of Indianapolis, we could see in the darker blue here, even when some blotches of purple, we could have isolated higher than six inch amounts going forward up to places like Detroit right on the edge of the screen there. We're talking a good three to six inches, potentially isolated higher amounts as well in and around Detroit. It's been kind of a lame winter. If you like snow there, you're going to get in on some snow. Toledo also about three to six inches in Northwest Ohio. Again, this is now going to be through, that's early through early Thursday morning at about four o'clock in the morning. All right. Back to the high-resolution future radar. Note where we have the heavy snow. We're picking this up again at 6 o'clock in the evening on the 25th. So still on Wednesday. Note where the heavy snow is. Boston, we're on that line. We're a nice push of heavy snow early. 
Then we're going to see things transition to some heavy rain. Note again, the heavy snow in interior New England. We're going to fast forward further into the event. Just look at this. This is going to be such an ugly day for us. Really, this is the overnight. We're looking at midnight now on Thursday, so at least better news. But we could have some flooding going on in Boston. Look at all this heavy rain just shooting up the Atlantic and being poured right into Long Island, into places like Boston, into Concord. Also now surging up into southern Maine, extreme southern Maine, so that heavy snow then changes to some very heavy rain before things start to quiet down. This is now going to be at 7 o'clock in the morning on Thursday, January 26th. We do get some wraparound moisture, and then we have the lakes starting to light up a little bit to help to enhance the snowfall. We're going to get into some of those expected snowfall totals in a second, and then I'll take you back into the deep south to give you a closer look at this at the high-resolution radar for the severe weather threat. So now we are looking at the high resolution snowfall forecast here. The internal, what this is, is it has its own calculation here of what it thinks the best snow ratio is in terms of those snow crystals. So you see it is at times a little higher back in Northwest Ohio, putting about seven inches for Detroit. I still think three to six is good with isolated higher amounts. In and around Pittsburgh, I don't think it's going to be a ton of snow. We're going to get that nasty morning commute again on Wednesday morning, maybe a quick burst of an inch or so, and then we're quickly going to change things over to more of a mix, which could create issues on the roads. And then we're going to go into that cold rain, places north of Pittsburgh, though, picking up a good two to four inches of snow. More of that in central Pennsylvania, more like three to six. Look at interior New England. We just had a good snowstorm come our way. We have more heavy snow coming, especially right into eastern New York. Again, that purple represents where we'll have six inches of snow. So that's right on the Vermont-New York border. The big ticket winners of this snowstorm, if you like snow, is going to be interior Maine. Look at all that. Look at all that snow coming through. Maybe up to a foot of snow or more of snow going to fall with this snowstorm. Also, we keep on talking about Toronto and Ottawa. It has been a very lame winter for us. That purple represents six inches of snow. I don't think we're going to get that much in Toronto. If you look really, really close, there's still some blue right along the lake there. So it's going to be more like three to six inches of snow, but it's something. I know we have struggled so far this winter, but if you live just outside of Toronto or just outside of Ottawa, then we're game on for that really heavy stuff, six to nine inches of snow. So just keep that in mind. All right. This is one of the reasons why it's called Weather Whiplash on this channel because we're going back and forth. I want to make sure everybody is included here. So that's important to me that everybody is aware and gets good information here. If you're rooting for the snow, and I want you, of course, to be safe and weather aware if you are watching from the Deep South. So we're back at it in the Deep South. This is going to be at 3 o'clock in the morning. So my friends in Montgomery, Pensacola, nasty weather here. Look at this. This is 4 o'clock in the morning in and around Pensacola, Montgomery, Birmingham. We're under that gun. Look at this nasty line here. This is 7 o'clock in the morning, blowing through Atlanta. Macon, Georgia. We're right on the doorstep. Tallahassee. Nasty, nasty weather coming through. And then we talked about that severe weather threat right along the I-95 corridor. This is the afternoon now at about 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock time frame through Charleston, Savannah, on the doorstep of Jacksonville, Gainesville. We are going to have that severe weather threat moving through as well thank you guys so much for watching again a nasty weather day couple of days as we move into wednesday into thursday by friday things quiet down considerably across the country but again heads up overnight into wednesday morning that nasty severe weather threat is going to continue as it moves out of texas and moves out of louisiana so again 
Make sure you have a way to get your watches, especially warnings, before you go to bed tonight. So if there are severe thunderstorm warnings or tornado warnings issued, you can get that. If you're watching from the colder areas where you highlighted where there'll be snow, I hope you enjoy it. There hasn't been a ton in some of these areas. Make sure you're being safe. Make sure you're paying attention to driving on that morning commute where we highlighted those areas as well. Thank you guys a ton again for watching. If you enjoyed this conversation that we had today, if you enjoy talking and tracking the weather, certainly we would love to get a thumbs up and we would love to have you on board. Please consider hitting that subscribe button and we will catch you next time.